Now, you may be wondering why the camera is super close to my face and you probably don't wanna watch the video like this, but today we are gonna be talking about crop factors. What's going on YouTube fam? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name's David Lee. I'm a photographer and cinematographer looking to help you improve your visual content through tutorials, advice, and entertain you guys with my own content. So today we're actually gonna be talking about APS-C, full frame, APS-C age, and all of those different crop factors, different full frames and crop frames, all that stuff. And it's super important. You may not understand it right now, but it's super important to understand it if you're running cameras because it really, really, really helps you decide what lenses you want to buy or what problems you may have with your camera or what issues you might be having with being too close or too far and that's why it was super close at the beginning in the intro because it was really important to help you guys understand that sometimes that happens because your camera is a crop frame we're gonna jump straight into that but drop me a comment below let me know are you guys running full frame APS-C or do you not know because after this video you're gonna know let's jump straight into it and get started with talking about crop factors. So I'm gonna go over three very common crop factors and it's kind of gonna be you in one of these categories because it's probably the most common ones unless you're using a Leica, a Pentax, or a Fujifilm. These categories are probably gonna be relevantly close and gonna help explain to you what happens with crop factor. And if I don't talk about it in this video, you can look it up and find out your crop factor and calculate the math by yourself. And this, yes, this video is gonna have math. Math warning, I hate math, but this video is gonna have math. It's gonna be very easy math, but math is still gross, I hate math. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the crop factors in which sensors they apply to. So the full frame sensor is going to have a 1.0 crop factor, so everything's going to be multiplied by 1. The APS-C, or the crop factor, is going to be applied with a 1.5 crop factor. And the Micro Four Thirds cameras like the Lumix, the GH4s, and the GH5s, they're going to have a 1.7 to a 2 crop factor, which is really, really close and gets super annoying. So now all you guys are getting from me right now is I'm just throwing numbers at you. Think about it this way. So right now, right now, this here, we are in a full frame sensor, okay? So think about this. We're in a full frame. You can see everything here. Now let's say we switched it to an APS-C. This is what you might see. It's gonna be a lot closer. You're gonna have a lot cut off. And this is kind of a lot of your cameras. It's multiplied by a 0.5. So right now I'm running on the 16, let's switch back to full frame, okay? So right now I'm running at 16 millimeters, right? Keep that in mind. If we did that, 16, 16 times, let's say, what was it? Crop frame, 1.5. So our 16 millimeters would turn into a 24 millimeter. If I put the lens together, that's gonna be a 24 to 52.5 millimeter lens. My 16 to 35 turns into that lens. So it, that's how it works for everybody. So a lot of people use the nifty 50 on their crop frame and that makes it a 75 millimeter lens, which is kind of far if you really think about it. You have to get, you have to step back really far. And that's what happens when you use a crop frame. Now imagine that on a micro four third. The 16 is going to turn into a 32 and the 35 is going to turn into a 70. It's a 32 to 70 lens if it's at a 2.0 crop factor. That's pretty insane because it could make or break your shots because if you're buying a lens you're gonna think oh yeah the 16 to 35 is super wide i really need it but if you're running on a crop frame you might want the 10 to 18 because you are getting a different crop factor and it's kind of hard so pretty much here's the formula you take the millimeters of your lens you multiply them by the crop factor whichever crop factor that is 1.0 for full frame 1.5 for APS-C and 1.7 to 2.0 you're gonna hit that max just in case so you know you can make for sure if you're using micro four thirds and that'll equal your next millimeter your focal range and kind of save you and help you determine what the focal range is gonna be but I also haven't discussed the micro four thirds so this is full frame this is crop frame and this is micro four thirds super 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 close like really close that's crop frame that's crop frame that's micro four third that's full frame that's that's crop factor for you and it's super important to think about when you're buying a lens if you want a crop frame if you want a full frame if you want a micro four thirds now when it comes to video crop frames and micro four thirds actually help out a lot because they add more depth because your focal distance 
is a lot shorter but you are further and the image is zoomed in without losing any quality which is really good because you can you can stand pretty far and get that isolation you can get really good techniques out of it because you are so far when it comes to full frame full graph Full frame is super awesome for when you are taking photos, but you know, if you're running crop frame taking photos, it might be a lot harder. But video is, crop frame's okay. It's not too bad, but if you want that full frame, it still works. You just may need to get a little bit closer. It's really up to you. I just thought that it was a super important thing to know when you're buying your lenses. And I kind of just want to explain to you guys the formula for crop factor and run through it really, really quick for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know. Do you guys understand your crop factors? Are you running full frames, crop frames, whatever? Let's talk about crop frame in the comments. Let me know in the comments below. If you guys don't know anything, let me know that you don't know. I hope you guys could pull something out of this to help you guys get understand a little bit more out of it. Yeah, if you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay awesome, have an amazing day, morning, night, wherever you're watching from and I'll see you then. Oh, and I'm going to San Antonio, so videos might be lacking. I don't know, maybe, we'll see.